All right, so another Tales from the Trash Can review. And uh, I bought this <clears throat> Destac magnifying lamp to replace the one that I bought on Amazon. Actually, I bought, I think I bought in three. I don't think bought is a word, but I did that anyway. And they've all gone back. Uh, so I got this one. In fact, I probably shouldn't mention this, but I forgot to add this clamp. Just in case you guys are looking for it, I still have it. Uh, um, and what I'll tell you the difference is, um, oh no, this is the clamp. Here's the one from the other one. All right, this is cheap, flimsy, flimsy plastic. I mean, it's not holding on to anything. But I'm gonna tell you the clamp that came with this thing is really, really strong, really strong. It hurts. Now, the only concern I have is that the spring is gargantuan in this thing. And it's not going to fall off the table. It's got these nice little grip things. But let's just say your desk is like a certain... I'm afraid this thing's going to snap. Because the metal here, this is like not even metal. I'm sorry, this is plastic. I thought it was metal. It's plastic. And you can see that it flexes a little bit and I'm afraid that over time, the spring is just gonna be too strong and the clamp is gonna give way right about there. Um, so that's my only concern. I mean, it's super strong and it works really great. I mean, strongest clamp I've seen. That's number one concern. All right, so let's turn this one on. Oh, by the way, the base is so solid. It's heavy. I don't know two, three pounds, it's it's no joke. And the light is really bright and really clear. It's really pretty. Uh, I don't know what they call this natural light, maybe, maybe not. I'm just making that up. But when you look through it, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. The lens is absolutely gorgeous. So you can see my awesome arm hair there. It's crystal clear. The, uh, whatever that is, the tube wire thing is really, really solid. Now, as a goof, I said, <laughs> this thing's quite heavy. And I said, you know, this thing is nonsense. If I lean this all the way over, it's gonna fall. And it doesn't. I mean, it's a little tippy, but it doesn't fall, which is great because that defeats the purpose. Uh, if you have to like lean it over your something you're working on and you just can't use the clamp. So that's a good thing. Now there's something I'm gonna point out, and this is my biggest complaint. The bottom obviously has some kind of heavy metal in there to keep it weighed down. But this top is just shit plastic, guys. And that's just a noise the hell out of me. If you went through all this trouble putting in this metal as a sink, why not just make the cover aluminum, okay? And you can see that when I bend it, you see how that, there's a lot of play in there? That worries me. Because over time as you're moving this thing, it's gonna keep wiggling it. And I will tell you, it would not take much for me to snap that. I could snap it, I'm not going to, because I don't wanna go through the Amazon process of returning this thing again. And if you wanna get it out, you just go like that. But look at that. That's all. It's this little doofy plastic foot that holds it in. And this cheap plastic thing, base, couldn't you just make, guys, I mean, there's this thing called metal. I know it's in short supply in, oh, they don't even put that it's made in China. I mean, it's gotta be short supply in China, but can't we just use aluminum? or some other kind of metal instead of the shitty plastic for these things. It's okay that this is plastic. That's fine. That looks fine. It's not going to take any impact or anything like that. It's going to be okay. But this base, more than likely, you're going to use to put items. You're working on a project like I would be, small screws and things like that. Do you really want it to be plastic? Especially since if you pull off a screw and it has maybe some glue on it or a petroleum product, it's going to eat right through this. It's kind of stupid if you're asking me. I mean, whatever. They could have just added some weight to the top, taken some weight out of the middle and made this metal and then made this metal. And then um, 
you know, I really loved it. But other than that, once again, uh, it's not dimmable. If you're looking for a dimming, a dimming one, then that's not what you get there. But it's clear. There's my gum. I mean, it's really clear. I mean, I, I, from the video, you probably can't tell, but it's clear and the light is a nice color. Of course, I also have lights that shine from the side, but uh, it's great, you know? Oh, there it goes, a little tippy, all right? But you can pretty much extend it all the way out. They did an okay thing. Could have put another little extendable foot on the front, but those are my only uh, concerns and hopefully it lasts longer than my other one. So once again, this is the Brightview ProFlex 2-in-1 LED 5, whatever, diopter lens magnifying lamp, and uh, so far, so good. So thanks for watching.